Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do, and if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me for my work, you can support this channel, you can find the link in the description of the video. And now, let's move on to a new project in the part design workbench and I will show you how to create such a part. Here we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Choose to create a sketch, select the XY plane, and we will draw a circle with a diameter of 100 millimeters so that the center of the circle lies at the origin of the coordinate system. And now we will draw three more circles in any locations with a diameter of 120 millimeters. We can do this by drawing one circle. I press the escape key to cancel the circle drawing command. I select this circle, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and here another circle has been copied. Then I press Ctrl V again, and here we have another circle. Position these circles roughly in this way. At this point, the exact position of the circles doesn't matter yet. In a moment, we will add auxiliary geometry and constraints to set these circles. First, Let's make sure that the center of this circle lies on the y-axis. Select the center of the circle, select the y-axis and choose the coincident constraint. Now let's add a distance from this point to the center of this circle. I select these two points and press the D key on the keyboard. For the distance, let's enter 90 millimeters. OK. I right-click to finish the dimensioning command. Now we will create two auxiliary geometries. Choose line drawing and draw one line so that the first point of the line lies at this point and the second point lies at the center of the circle. Draw the second line in the same way. OK. Right click to finish the line drawing command. Select the two lines and choose the equality constraint so that these two lines are equal. Then select this point, this point, and the y axis, and here choose the symmetry constraint. Then select this line, this line, and add an angle dimension between these lines. So, when I have these two lines selected, I press the D key and enter 120 degrees as the angle. The dimensioning is still active, so I select one line and add a length dimension to the line. Here, let's add a length dimension, not a dimension in the x-axis, not a dimension in the y-axis, but simply a length dimension, and as the length of this line, and enter 90 millimeters. Right click to cancel the dimensioning. Now I select these two lines and switch these lines to construction geometry so that these geometries are the auxiliary geometries of the sketch. Now we will trim the geometry fragments. Select the trim command. And now we trim the fragments of the circles. Notice that when we hover over the trimming geometry, such points appear, and these points define the cutting boundaries. When I click here, the outer part of the circle will be removed. Then I click here to remove this part of the circle. Here, this part of the circle has also been removed. I press Ctrl Z to undo, and after pressing Ctrl Z, this part of the circle has been restored. Then I trim this part of the circle, this part of the circle, and we do it again with this part. And OK, the sketch is complete. I close the sketch and will now create another sketch. Choose to create a sketch and select the XY plane. Here we will create a polygon. Choose to create a hexagon and draw the hexagon in such a way that this dimension is 25 millimeters. And we position this point on the x-axis so that the value of this dimension is 0 degrees. We close the sketch and we have something like this. At this point, these two sketches are on the same plane, but I would like to raise this sketch by 30 millimeters along the z-axis. To do this, to change the position of this sketch, we select the sketch, go to the attachment properties here, position, 
and change the value on the z-axis to 30 millimeters. And OK, now these two sketches are on different planes. We select both sketches in the feature tree with the control key and choose the additive loft operation. Already in the preview, we see how this solid will look. We click OK to confirm, and this is how we created something like this. Now, to create a part with a specified wall thickness, we select the top and bottom faces of the solid with the control key and choose the thickness operation. Here we set the wall thickness to 3 mm. By default it is done so that the wall is added to the inside of the solid. We have the option Make Thickness Inwards checked here. If we uncheck this, the solid will be enlarged and the wall will be added to the outside. We click OK to confirm, and this is how we created this type of part. In this example, I wanted to show you some basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. We'll finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.